Temps drop around the Ozarks. Many people experiencing homelessness will find themselves in warming centers. But Michael Hoffman joins us live with a look at some who won't go to shelters despite the temperatures. Michael. Paul, in the trending bar here at the top of ky3.com is a list, and you're going to click right here, is a list of all of those emergency shelters in Springfield that open on bitterly cold nights. But, Paul, what's really interesting is that many people who could really utilize these shelters choose to brave the elements on their own. I spoke with someone who's been in that position before, and what changed his mind? Um, it came to, down to a point where I actually had to drink to stay warm. Travis Seek has been in and out of poverty for decades. In August of 22, he found himself homeless in Springfield. I never would go into homeless shelters or anything of that nature. I always was couch surfing, partying. In December of 2022, that all changed. Cold weather came for the Ozarks with a vengeance, with wind chills nearing negative 40 degrees. He says he saw many friends lose fingers and toes to the cold. Frozen toes, frozen feet, frozen earlobes, yeah, black just turned black. I've seen earlobes turn black, lips turn black, blue and black, uh, toes missing. I have a friend that actually he's got four of his toes missing from the cold weather freezing, trying to stay in an abandoned house, trying to stay warm. He says that stuck with him. So when he got out of jail in December 22, the cab they called brought him here to Victory Mission. He's been here ever since. He says the main reason why he didn't want to utilize shelters or warming centers was pride and ego um i always thought i was better than most people that come to a homeless shelter um i wasn't able to, you know they got rules and you know kind of lived in a rebellious lifestyle where i didn't accept rules um so i, I couldn't you can't drink here you can't do drugs you can't you can't bring women everything's separated you got rules to follow it's an issue that many face Mindy McDonald with Victory Mission says it's a multifaceted issue. Some don't want to give up independence. Some don't want to share living space. The main issues, though, safety and drug use. I think the drug and alcohol policy is, is a huge element, and honestly, it really helps with the safety factor, but that can be a barrier for somebody who, um, you know, substance use and mental health, often it's a lot more nuanced than just being sober or not being sober. Now, we also have a list of the warming centers open during the day under the same link. Just open up that story, scroll down, click on this blue link here. It's going to load all the way up. Scroll down, click Agree, and then all you're going to do is zoom in to your own community. Paul? Thank you, Michael.